Hi everyone, it's Tarika from RMIT Student Recruitment. To make sure the admissions process is fair for everyone, RMIT has equity access schemes which can provide special consideration to students who have experienced disadvantage or difficult circumstances during their final years of study. This presentation is going to cover both C's and SNAP, what they are and how to apply. Let's get started. RMIT is proud to be a large, diverse and inclusive university. Our students come from all over the world and from many countries, cultures, backgrounds and circumstances. We want to make sure that anybody who has the ability to do well at university and wants to study with us is able to do so. We know that sometimes a student's potential to do well at uni may not reflect in their ATAR. Circumstances beyond your control can stop you from doing as well in your studies as you normally would. To make sure the admissions process is fair for everyone, RMIT has equity access schemes which can provide special consideration to students who have experienced disadvantage or difficult circumstances during their final years of study. We're proud to participate in VTAC Special Entry Access Schemes, or C's for short. C's can provide an adjustment to your ATAR of up to 20 points depending on your circumstances. RMIT participates in all four categories of C's. Last year, C's helped almost 3,500 students gain a place at RMIT. RMIT also has its own access scheme, the School Network Access Program, or SNAP Access Scheme. Like C's, SNAP can provide an adjustment of up to 20 ATAP points for students who attend one of our partner secondary schools. SNAP is actually part of C's, so you may be able to apply for both. In this presentation, we're going to have a look at C's and SNAP. We'll go through the different categories, who can apply for them, and how C's can get you closer to your study goals. Finally, I'll share with you some tips for making sure your application is as strong as it can be. So first, let's go over the basics. How do you know if you're eligible for C's? Well, for starters, you need to be applying for a certificate for diploma, advanced diploma, associate degree, or degree program. Secondly, you must be an Australian citizen, permanent resident, permanent humanitarian visa holder, New Zealand citizen, or a person seeking asylum who has a temporary protection visa, safe haven enterprise visa, or bridging visa E. If that's you, you're eligible for C's. Next, how do you actually apply? There are two important things to remember. Applying for C's is separate to applying for your courses through VTAC. C's has its own application form. You'll find it on the VTAC website. It's all online, but you may need to upload some extra documents and evidence. We'll go over that shortly. And secondly, we know that many students in Year 12 have experienced interruption to their education as a result of this year's bushfires and moved to remote learning in response to COVID-19. VTAC has been looking into how they can make this easy for students to receive consideration for these circumstances. Be sure to check their website and speak to your career advisors before starting your C's application to make sure you're following the most up-to-date instructions. Now let's have a look at the different categories of C's and how to apply for them. Applying for C's Category 1 is the easiest and quickest category. Category 1 looks at your personal information and location. You can receive adjustments to your ATAR based on your background and circumstances. You should apply for Category 1 if you're a mature age student, an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander person living in a rural or regional area from a non-English speaking background, a female applicant for a program where women are underrepresented, we've got a list of these on our website for you to check, or finally, if you attend one of RMIT's SNAP partner schools. SNAP is a partnership between RMIT and over 220 Victorian secondary schools. We have a list of SNAP schools on our website. There's over 200 of them, so make sure you check to see if your school is included. If you're a SNAP student, you can apply for Category 1 of C's before the closing date. You will receive a SNAP consideration for every RMIT course on your preference list, including any extra courses you add during change of preference. There are other benefits to applying for SNAP, including lower English score requirements for degree courses. To find out more, have a look on our website. It's important to remember that the maximum adjustment for your ATAR through season SNAP, no matter how many categories you apply for, is 20 ATAR points. Applying for Category 1, including SNAP, is so easy. The application form will ask you if you wish to be considered for equity access based on your personal information and location. Just tick the yes box and you're done. VTAC will then use the information you've provided to work out the adjustment should be made to your ATAR. 
Let's move on to category two. This is for students who've experienced financial disadvantage that has an impact on their studies. This category can provide an ATAR adjustment of up to 12 points. You may be eligible for category two if your parents receive a Centrelink or Department of Veteran Affairs benefit, or if you can show that your financial situation or your family's financial situation has negatively affected your educational performance. If your parents receive a Centrelink or DVA benefit, you can either provide a copy of this or you can give this information to VTAC so that they can confirm this with the agency. If your family does not receive these benefits, you'll need to provide two statements, one statement written by you and one written by a responsible adult that describes your financial circumstances and how that has affected your education. You'll need to allow time to prepare these statements and to find someone who knows you and your situation well enough to write on you. This is why starting your C's application as early as possible is the best way to go. Category three is for students who have a medical condition or a disability that has affected their academic performance. This category can provide an ATAR adjustment of up to 12 points. You'll need to provide a brief description of your circumstances and how long you have experienced them. You also need to provide a statement from a medical professional as well as your own statement that explains how your condition has impacted your studies. The medical professional you provide the statement from should be someone who knows you, your GP or specialist would be best, and who can comment on how your condition has affected your education. However, in some circumstances, it might be acceptable for you to provide a statement from a teacher or a school nurse. Remember that any personal statement you provide as part of your C's application must focus on how your circumstances have affected your education rather than any emotional or personal impacts they may have had. So if you are unable to attend school for a period of time, specify how many days you are absent. If you miss critical assessments or exams, make sure you say so. These are things that the assessors will be looking for. And finally, remember to give your GP and specialist as much notice as possible so that they have enough time to get the statement back to you in time to submit your application. The final C's category that RMIT participates in is category four, difficult circumstances. This is where you can receive consideration for any other events or circumstances that have impacted on your education. For example, if you experience a significant loss or family disruption in your final years of study, you should apply for category four. You can receive an adjustment of up to eight ATAR points. To apply for this category, you'll need to once again provide a brief description of your circumstances and two statements, one written by you and again, one written by a responsible adult who can comment on your circumstances and how this has impacted your education. So that's pretty much C's in a nutshell. We have heaps of information about the categories and how to apply on our website. Read over it carefully and make sure you know exactly what evidence you need to provide for each category you're applying for. Finally, three top tips for a strong C's application. Number one, start preparing your application early. This year's C's applications close on Friday the 9th of October at 5 p.m. So now's the perfect time to start working on your application. Decide which categories you wish to apply for. Work out what evidence and you need to provide. And if you need to ask people to prepare statements for you, make sure you give them plenty of time to write these. Number two, remember that your statement should address educational impacts of your circumstances, not just personal impact. You need to be able to show that your circumstances have prevented you from doing as well in your studies as you otherwise would have. So remember to be as specific as possible. And three, if you're eligible, apply. Every year we hear of students who are eligible for C's consideration, but didn't realize it until it was too late. Do your research early. And if you're unsure, speak with your school career advisor. They'll be able to help you plan and prepare your C's application. I hope this introduction to C's and SNAP has been helpful. Remember, we have plenty of information on our website and members of our C's and SNAP team are also available to chat with you about your circumstances and which categories of C's you may be eligible for. Thanks for tuning in and good luck with your application. Remember, we have plenty of information on our website and members from our C's and SNAP team are available to chat today so you can get all your questions answered on your individual circumstances. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you found this session useful.